Finally, you know, Sutherland, UN, finally admits that the migrant crisis is a plan to overthrow the West. Not just America, not just the UK, but Australia and every other free country. Here's the clip. Edit. Children run over while watching fireworks displays. And the state-run media tells the public it's not Islamic. For more than a thousand years, Europe has battled Islamic invasions. But in the 21st century, Europe and the rest of the Western world faces a new type of war. Powerful central banks, the United Nations, the military-industrial complex, combining forces with jihadist Islam to finally bring down Europe. We are witnessing World War III. It doesn't look like past wars. It's a stealth war conducted by traitors from within. More times than I can even remember. I'll be on an international television program or a local radio show or sitting down to do a magazine interview. And the reporter will look at me and say, oh, if there's this big secret world government, where is it? Tell us who runs it. And I look at him and I say, it's not secret who runs the TPP. It's not secret who runs the IMF and World Bank. It's not secret who runs the UN. It's the programs and operations of these institutions that are secret, quasi-secret, and that claim diplomatic immunity or state immunity. In modern parlance, this is the new royalty. Every time you get to the bottom of who is funding, disarming populations around the world, it's Goldman Sachs. Every time you get to the bottom of who's opening up borders and destroying sovereignty, it's Goldman Sachs. Every time you find out who's financing all this anti-family, anti-fatherhood propaganda, it's Goldman Sachs, followed by J.P. Morgan and others behind him. And so it's not any surprise that the head of the UN migrant program, who was the founder of the European Union, but now who runs the immigration, the invasion of third world populations, it wasn't any surprise that Peter Sutherland, the chairman of Goldman Sachs globally, openly said that he wants to use third world populations to undermine national homogeneity. And it doesn't stop there with Goldman Sachs. They have been installing their former vice presidents and directors as the presidents and prime ministers of places like Greece and Italy. And they call it technocracy, not dictatorship. Goldman Sachs is literally the devil. It is the top of the pyramid. It is the scourge. It's like the Nazis we fought in World War II. It is the progenitor of all of the crises we face coming out of the New World.